this problem they want us to write a number that is the same as the one below. So because it's a really open-ended question, I, I guess we could do a number of things here. However, I think I'm going to use the fact that we have 8 as a base in the numerator and 8 as a base in the denominator to use my laws of exponents. And the idea is if we are dividing these two and they have the same exponent, we can, same base, excuse me, we can just subtract the exponents. And this will end up being 8 to the 200 minus 100 or 100 power. And this makes a lot of sense. If you think about what's happening, first of all, on a smaller scale, if you had 8 to the 4th over um, 8 to the 3rd, well, this is like having 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 in the numerator. And then down here, it's like having 8 times 8 times 8. And remember that the fraction sign here, this means division. So we're dividing, right? And every pair of 8s that we divide cancel out to 1. So every 8 in the denominator subtracts or cancels out one of the factors in the numerator. So these cancel out, and so do these. So these three 8s down here essentially took away or subtracted the three 8s that were multiplying up here, leaving the one 8 that's remaining. And the shortcut to think about that is that, well, in this case at least, we would have 8 to the 4, the 4 8s in the numerator, minus the 3 in the denominator. And that would be 8 to the 1st. The same is true here, you just have a more complex situation, right? It's 8 to the 200 over 8 to the 100. So that essentially means we have what? We have 200 eighths, right, that we're lining up here, and then 100 eighths down here. I guess I should kind of show there are more eighths in the numerator. Sorry, let me set it up this way. Okay, this is just my my notation saying that, let's say, these group of 8s right here represents 100 8s, right, matched by these 8s up here. And then there are another 100 8s here left over, right, another 100 8s. And maybe that's confusing enough. I think about that notation might be throwing you off, but I, I hope that what I'm showing you is that, well, if there are 200 8s in total in the numerator, and there are only 100 down here, you could say that all these pair up, right? The 100 in the numerator and the 100 in the denominator, and they all cancel out to 1. They all basically go away. In effect, by dividing to 1, they are no longer meaningful, and what remains are the other 100 eights in the numerator. That's why the answer is 8 to the 100. All right, hope this helps.